Yeah. How did you find the Sarko Deer concept? First of all, are you a Sarko Deer fan? I'm a Sarko Deer fan, man. Like, how long have you been following this movement? Let's say 10 years. 10 years plus? Yes. Okay, and this is your first time seeing him live in Amsterdam? I didn't even see him. You didn't see him? I bought a ticket, I didn't see him. I bought tickets for friends, I bought for myself, I bought two for other friends, and we came and it is done. So we are highly disappointed. And I don't know, say, uh, next time, be uh, no. Uh, so Ghana for a organized program in Amsterdam, like me too, me nine crazy horse. Ebusia, me mo wakwa ba eba DJ Blit TV so me de wa say so when you abutre udi we feed ina to DJ Blit TV. Sako di fans e wo Amsterdam's. I mean hardcore fans. Oh my, you're very disappointed. Pa 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 pa. Ebusia, me you sure say ubisa on say oh aden e di ni esi e yantu wa say me try me hon ababe kanchira o. DJ Bleed, Germany, Ebusia, Mimo Wakaba Bium Eba DJ Bleed TV so on the twenty first of September twenty twenty four. Sakwa concert live in Amsterdam. <laughs> Adofona bibina ebay ebe so mse wa we need ya obi de pon bi de sako de europe ase sako de fans e do so pa 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 na de ni si ye ebusia dj bi tv ye mfa ya no enko ka na mo nyi ya no anko si bo ne so ebusia mo ma ye ntie enfri sako de hardcore fans na kasa enum ladies and gentlemen once again this your boy dini busy right now and uh, we just came back from the sako de program and i'm here with a few people that came to the sako de event and I just want to talk to them and let them know. If you're if you're watching, make sure you keep it locked on DJ Bleed TV. Yo, young man, what's yeah. your name? Leo. Leo. Yeah. How did you find the Sarko Deer concept? First of all, are you a Sarko Deer fan? I'm a Sarko Deer fan, man. Like how long have you been following this movement? Let's say 10 years. 10 years plus? Yes. Okay. And this is your first time seeing him live in Amsterdam? I didn't even see him. You didn't see him? I bought a ticket, I didn't see him. Wow. When I got there, they've closed. It's a mess. Usually, Ghanaian people say we have to support our own, but I think it's an old adage, you know, it, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't work anymore. If there is a foreign artist coming to Amsterdam, I am not going to be part of it. Wow, wow, because wow. Because I bought tickets for friends, I bought for myself, I bought two for other friends, and we came and it is done. We never saw, we never even got to the entrance and they said they, they are done. Hey, we got there around 10 o'clock. Man. Oh yeah, yeah. On the on the ticket it said eight thirty performance. Okay. Time. Yeah, but they never communicated. I think the closing time and that kind of uh, even on the people. flyer it shows that it's eleven fifty nine. They are going to close. Oh okay, it okay. It opens eight thirty and eleven fifty nine on the flyer. Oh okay. But, but when you buy the ticket, it doesn't show the time they close. Oh. It okay. only shows the time they open. Oh, but I okay. think it, it is not good, you know, because a lot of people, not only me, a lot of people couldn't get a chance to get inside oh i see i see yeah. i hope sako they can see this and hopefully do better what about you what was the experience for you uh yeah uh -huh. Your friends the entrance of our show, no, they do almost say, Oh, my phone. So we were so disappointed, disappointed about what happened. Yeah, because uh -huh. take it in the sun now, uh, time in the 8 30, which uh, said gate, you know, a baby, 
Yeah. So, but I'm not closing, you know, so like you no know, mass city closing is here. Like, 11 30. 11 30. 11 59. Yeah, it was 1159. Yeah, that's that that was it. But now you say we'll buy 10 crab or two hours solid. Yeah, now you say me buy 10 crab. Now I say me buy 11 crab and say be a. Oh, one hour cry. Yeah, let me do my, one my ticket is here. You yeah. can see. Yeah. My ticket is it's, here. It's okay for me. But I did so. So we are highly disappointed. And I don't know, say, uh, next time, be uh, no. uh, say Ghana for uh, an organizing program be in Amsterdam. Uh, like, me too, me nine like, crazy uh, And you're fair. Not only it's in not. Amsterdam, even wherever here in Europe. No, but trust me, trust me. Uh, if you have a circle experience in the UK, it never goes down Sa like that. Circle there, my friend. Like, from. The, the time, like time and all, your friends say, but but guessing it or yeah, that yeah, yeah. kind of collaboration, yeah, you know? yeah, early days, early, early days. days, you know, it's a yeah, mommy, yeah, 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 me follow up, sati, sati, no, yeah, the baby phone, so this year, so called, yeah, you know, like back and forth, like, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I, say. I think the message it's, is quite clear, like this kind of this, and, and, and I'm and I'm meeting a few amount for an almost say last year. That, it that was, this that the, was the same, same thing. thing. This is the second time. It it said next year, okay, so we we'll organize the program for Sako I mean, what's the need? Like, it doesn't make sense, you know? I mean, so, guys. Like, I'm going to be being from my side here. Nigeria programs now are organizing one. Yo, guys. Guys, uh -huh. I mean, uh, Sako fans are here. And they really, really disappointed yeah, about yeah. the timing and the miscommunication of everything. But, um, these people are very like hardcore Sarkozy fans, as you can see. He's got so much Sarkozy fans music on his phone. He's also been following over ten years, as he mentioned. So, um, I just hope that uh, this message gets out there, and you know, they organize events better because ticket is yeah, not from Sao. The ticket is almost thirty euros. Almost 30 euros. And look, what if, if I gonna come and say? I don't want to convert it because <laughs> I, I, I bought for other two people. It means I cost ninety euros. Uh -huh. And convert ninety to Ghana to it will be thousand Ghana cities. Yes, so you know, spending close to thousand Ghana cities yeah, for and him and his friends and not having an experience. After work, I just took shower, take something up and come and you know it didn't work. Okay. I, I think this shouldn't happen anymore. And the organizers the organizers should also take note of this. Because a lot of my friends, a lot of them, all of them, they are fucked up. And it's like, why are we supporting our own? Why? Yeah. And they I should, they should, they should also try to communicate. You know, okay. communication is, is is the key. You know. All right then. Yeah. So hey, I think your message so is clear. I'm gonna wrap yeah, it up, yeah, yeah, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. This is a few, some of the people from uh, the Sarkodie event sharing how, how their experiences and how they felt. Like, keep watching DJ Plea TV. I hope that you know this get noticed and um, get fixed because we definitely have a lot of support, love for Sarkodie, and we hope that you can do better. Without much ado, your boy in the busy. Signing out. Yeah, DJ yeah. Blue TV, keep it locked. Organizers, you know, we'll make sure that next time, you no, know, some mistake we ain't made and ain't happy. One more thing, every year, hardcore fans, you know, because you know, so, any time, you know, 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 we know that you say Sarko Diano will lose to some of the hardcore fans, which is very bad. I don't think say this thing has to repeat itself again. Ebusia, DJB TV, any your representative and also every train come on Ebisano. A Dempa and a Koy, a Kusimo Ho, a Tama Omoka say on the starting program. No, that time no more starting yana, Tama Omoka so more pono, so that time no more poyana. Ebusia, Mome and TA, and free a year your representative for Nakasa Enum. Hello. Hello. Nini busy. Uh, yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What about you? Yeah, good, man. You know what it is. We're still bleeding here. Great. <laughs> Can you please uh, tell us what really happened? Okay. Okay. Correct. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, indeed, I was at the show to cut matters short and go straight to the point. Basically, on that fateful day, from my understanding, uh, I, I stand to be corrected, but I think it was about 8.30 or uh, 8.30 or something like that on the flyer. But the point is, they had a time, they had a time on the flyer, but it, they didn't have no closing time. With the, with the typical um, Ghanaian event assumptions, you know, you know when it's, when it's 8.30, you know, people get there for... 9.30 or even 10 o'clock because, you know, that's a typical African African time coming to African African event. Um, anyway, 
we got there now. Uh, I got there a little bit around 9.30 or something of that sort. I got in. Uh, yeah, when I got in, uh, yeah, Sarkozy was on stage doing doing his thing. Um, it was lit. Um, but just after a few songs, a few songs, I see... Um, okay. Yeah. Um, talking about a few songs, how many songs did Sarkozy perform? Um, to be honest, um, when I got in, I saw a few songs, but from from the conversations that I I had with people after, uh, he did quite a bit of a show. He was on stage for about an hour to an hour and a half. That's uh, performing all sorts of songs. But when I got in, which was around 9.30, uh, um, he was just about to finish. I, I, did, I didn't know he was about to finish because, again, we didn't understand that uh, um, it was finishing at 10 o'clock. Okay, so, so if I if I am to be corrected or if I heard you well, you the time on the flyer was eight thirty, right? Yes, yes. But you got in there nine something, right? Now about nine thirty. After about because 9 30. when we got there, yeah, I was there around nine nine. But um, I had to you know get to get through the crowd and basically you know go through security and stuff. So it took me about maybe another twenty minutes to actually get inside. Oh, okay. And it wasn't on the flyer to the time that the, the party is going to be end, right? No, that was not communicated nowhere. Oh, okay. So after the program, apart from those uh, Sakode hardcore fans that you talked to, what else, what did you also hear anything from other any or, uh, any of the other hardcore fans around there? Yeah, definitely. Um, I spoke to a uh, few people around there because uh, I, I I knew a little a bit of people there. So um, you know, as usual, everybody was standing, you know, confused, not too sure whether the program is finished or not because they were all in shock. So that led to conversations between ourselves, and you know, uh, people started basically. Um, um, expressing their disappointment to me. Uh, I had uh, maybe like. Uh, three girls that I was with because I know them from way back. They were just literally complaining to me. Uh, um, I, I saw City Boy, so I spoke to City Boy. And in fact, uh, uh, the City Boy was asking me if I saw his show. I was like, yeah, definitely. And I, the girls basically complained to City Boy as well about how they are, how they are not going to uh, attend the Sarkozy concert. They, they're really disappointed because... Uh, um, as, as usual, nobody like expects a Guardian concert to go to finish that early, that early. And also, if it is, you know, this is Europe. You know, we clearly are we're clear about communication. So if if they told them that yeah, we're going to finish that time, people would have at least made a better decision. Is either they come to the show or they think, okay, I can't make it within that time and, you know, not buy a ticket only to get there and not even have an experience because that was the, that was. Um, you know the experience for um, a great po- a great portion of it. Like you know, I'm talking like maybe 20, 30 percent or something like that. I had calls as well from people that didn't even make it inside because when they got to Amsterdam, the event was finished, so they ended up going to um, another club. Which um, I don't know if you know about it, but there's a club called DNA or, or DNA, I think, it's an Afrobeat club. And so on a normal night, they do. Not- they okay. do not have a busy night. Okay, no, no. So I, um, those that they wouldn't or they weren't able to go inside there, were there many? Oh, yes, 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 yes. So like, how, basically... How, how much was the ticket per person? The ticket was about uh, uh, about 30 euros with some, um, I think, another 4 euros membership, membership fee or something like that. So about between 30 and 34 euros, I think. Oh, okay. All right. This is really sad news for Sakodie fans out there. Um, you been you been Sakodie hardcore fans. I know since from childhood, and uh, uh, what what uh, uh, before 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 I ask you that question. Um, uh, you have been living in Amsterdam or Holland for a long time. Whenever there uh, there is a concert, does Ghanaians or Africans living there do they come on time? Uh, in general, the, it's like it's the, the 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 African the African behavior or the African thing. Uh, I won't lie; it's universal. Like you know, uh, when when you are having an event uh, with the Africans, they will come a bit late. So uh, you know, you would have to also make uh, plans for that. You know, some reservations for that because you know where you're going to say eight 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 o'clock or eight thirty, and then 
you know, majority of the crowd will come at eight thirty. It doesn't happen in African African setting. It's something that maybe we have to improve on as Africans, but you know, we also have to understand that that's the reality of how uh, things are over over here and all, like in between between Africans. Oh, okay. All right. Let me come back to the question that I asked you. You've been, I know you've been Sakodia hardcore fans in childhood. So you've been Sakodia uh, uh, hardcore fans in childhood and um, you grew up just still witnessing Sakodia performing live and all that. And so what would you specifically say about this whole t- this thing that uh, the hardcore fans were so disappointed of? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a shame, um, and, and and it's a shame that it went down that way. Uh, um, he was here uh, last year, which I wasn't. I wasn't at the show, but uh, talking to people, they even they put me onto it that he was here last year, and it was the same or similar, not so great experience. And I, I, for me, that was surprising to hear because I've been to a Sakoria concert in London. It was amazing. Uh, I went to support his first time in London. Uh, in the first, the same week, I saw him twice uh, in Ghana. I've been to his concert. You know, Rapaholic bought VVIP tickets in the front, like so. And they have been a, they have been good experiences. And you know, it was it was just a shame that you know, looking at you no know, like having a taste of those good experiences, and you know me thinking he's now in Amsterdam, uh, I'm going to get something good or even better. It's just a shame to go and experience something that's like terrible. And it's not to say that, you know, we don't like what he's doing. We don't love him or anything. It's just, we just wanted to put, put him on game. So he performs better. But me personally, like I would not go to a Sakurya concert in Amsterdam. If it's in London, I'll probably go and see him, but not in Amsterdam because yeah, he, he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it well here. Oh wow! So that means the bad experience happening only in Amsterdam, but not but in 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 London, he he don't really do that there, right? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm 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 thinking it's probably because you know in London we have a big African community, so um, maybe because of that he puts a bit more a bit more. Uh, uh, for lack of better words, seriousness. Uh, I'm not saying he's not he's not putting seriousness into it, but you know, like um, because uh, because maybe uh, in London is a big audience, and you know what happens in London is really a representation that it's like literally re- reflects in Ghana. Like if you do a show in the O2 or he sells a he plays a sh- he plays a, a show in you know with composers or something, and it it, it really gets picked up by the Ghana media and it, get, it gets talked about. So um, maybe because of those things, he pays more attention to it. But when it, in terms of Amsterdam and Rotterdam, for example, uh, it, they are I do they are a bit difficult to play. So maybe because of that, he a bit skeptical and. Uh, you know, on that note, don't put too much effort or or or, or, or back in. Okay, Nini Busy, last question before I'll leave you to go. Um, So let me tip in here. I know you're a Ghanaian, but I don't know why I'm speaking even English with you to all this while. Um, Maybe so because, you know, we want to get, <laughs> get the, uh, either, yeah. everybody so, to understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So um, let's say, who would you put the blame for? The organizers or Sarkozy? Um, To be honest... To be honest, um, as much as as much as it it breaks my heart to say that, I will put one hundred percent blame on Sarkozy. The reason being, the reason being, if it goes well, you know he's he's the one to be praised. So even though he's working with a team and he's not doing everything, if it goes wrong, we're supposed to just you know put the blame on the leader. And you know things could have been done. You know if you know like the thing is. If you know that you can't do, I understand the venues, restrictions, it costs money, it costs money and, and you know, they're probably paying by the hour. So they're thinking, okay, you know, we want to a corner, so want to save or want to, but if you can't give the fans don't, what they want, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't upset them. If you do a show somewhere, we will come. As long as we remember the good experience, if we, we, you know what I'm saying, if we know, because now a lot of people are definitely, because, you know, a lot of people are definitely not going to go to a, a concert just because of the experience, because we are fans of a lot of artists. 
we are in front of a lot of artists. Don't get me wrong, we're listening to Sarko, we're listening to Stoneboy, we're listening to Chatawale, we're listening to all the top guys, Can Promise. But it's only a few that actually when they come here, we make the effort to buy tickets to go and see them. There are a lot of great artists that we listen to, but I'll tell you that people are not buying tickets to go and see them, you know? And I'm not talking like um, artists that have uh, don't have big songs. They, I'm talking like artists that their songs are trending in Ghana. If they come here, people will not buy, major, majority will not buy tickets to go and see them. It's only a few people, you know, and when you, it's only a few people, the, the likes of Sarkozy and Stoneboy, Kim Promise, it's only a few handful, but the, the, probably the reason why Davido's name came in is because I really wanted to lead on to something to say that, like, when we see what the Nigerians are doing in terms of music, when you see the names of Davido, Burner Boy, uh, uh, Witchkid, and all the big names, you know, when we see what they're doing and the impact that we're, they're doing, that is where we want to see our people. That's where we want to see, we want to see our soccer years. We want to see our Stone Boys. We want to see... Um, we want to see our Kim promises on that stage, you know. We want to see them on that on that global stage, on that level, you know. So we don't do this these kind of calls or these kind of interviews to bash them and destroy what they've built, but we're just trying to get them to improve it, make it better, look at the faults and tighten up because we do want to see them, you know. We do want to see them on those big stages as big as, you know, the Davidos and the, Sarah, uh, the the Stone Boys and the Burner Boys and, you know, you name it. We, we want them to be great. Okay. Nini Bizi, thank you very much for your time and also for attending to the uh, to the program concert to take the coverage for DJ Blee TV. Uh, take care of yourself. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much and uh, speak to you soon. You're All welcome. Bye. All right. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you heard him yourself. That was what really went on on Sarkodie's concert live in Amsterdam on the 21st of September 2024. no, and most of the time, no mistakes need to be ma. Aya a free organizers, no. A being so free, a yes fans, no. A being so free, a year artists, no. What you say? But we know, aya dia aya say yanka say timi shwe na timi edi huwe juma sine be ya and repeat itself because this year no sako diye we lose some of the hardcore fans. Some of them some of them here, no. Or see, any idea? I'm not saying sako diye be performing. We are saying African artists be be performing. Be a umbe de umbe pi abe akwa supporto anyway. And to me, I sure say organizers in any artist known to video way or mutimi be piece wa or mutia or musombe de or me correct you or mistake next time. Ebusia, better was say, say when you have a chair, would you a feed in a two DJ Blit TV? Koswana DJ Blit TV, not share, not comment it. To Bomodia say, comment section one more, so bet share a year opinion a war home. Now, Monsieur, na DJ Blit TV, the beer because we be a Europe has you know, yet the bebremo, life and colored. Ebusia. Don't forget it. Subscribe. Let me have the man also. Send me a video. Be a little bit too much. You'll be the first person to get a notification. And I was say, I did be a whole bit of what I should be a making sure say, oh, then people are ready to answer why they why you move. Ebusia, bye bye. Kindly please like, share, and subscribe.